Things aren't looking good for Huawei as they even have their Kirin processor now in danger. Vodafone and E have just postponed their 5G launch, obviously because of everything that's going on. And if you have a OnePlus 7 Pro with disappointing camera quality, an update is on its way. I'm Jaime Rivera, back from London, and uh, things continue to get complicated day by day with the Huawei topic. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Those of you in the market for an Apple Watch, b &H here in the United States has, uh, well, $70 off pretty much almost every model of the Apple Watch. Again, I highly recommend Series 4. And we're even talking about the cellular variants. It all depends on what you're looking for. You can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about Apple and WWDC. The company has just sent down press invitations for the event to happen on June 3rd in the morning in uh, San Jose, California. And uh, well, we're expecting a new version of iOS. We're expecting a new version of macOS. We hear that there might be something significant for the iPad. Obviously, tvOS should see a change with the whole TV Plus. And uh, well, there's so much to come. Stay tuned and set your calendars. We'll definitely be covering it. And now let's talk about the OnePlus 7 Pro. Those of you that have already bought the phone and have been noticing that your camera quality is not necessarily the best, you're not alone up to the point where the company has uh, just pushed out a software update with some fixes and apparently there's another software update in the works to bring even more when it comes to Nightscape in particular. So uh, stay tuned. Obviously, we will be reporting it as soon as we get the information. And if you remember, we had carriers in the UK like E and Vodafone scheduled to launch their 5G networks on May 30th. Uh, now we hear that the companies are planning to postpone their launches because one of the major partners for this 5G launch was Huawei. And uh, even if uh, the UK hasn't necessarily instilled a ban here, uh, it seems that there are plans to support what's happening in the United States. Uh, obviously, there was a Huawei smartphone that was going to bring 5G as part of the launch, so uh, we'll keep you posted as this continues to develop. And finally, the most concerning news today have to do with uh, Huawei and the future of the Kirin processor. So here's the thing, you know that uh, all the architecture that's defined for mobile chips comes from ARM. ARM is a US technology, but it's now on a UK based company. And so even if this is a UK company with no bands yet, well, again, because it's a US technology, they have decided to cut ties with Huawei, or at least we hear from a report. We don't really have something official, but apparently there's an internal memo that ARM employees should not continue talking to Huawei. So this makes things even more complicated. Think about this. Obviously, no 5G rollout with Huawei in certain European countries. Obviously, the problem that there's no Android. And now, the fact that they can't even use ARM architecture to build their chips, meaning the Kirin 980 or whatever new Kirin is coming is based on ARM technology. So, oh my God, in today's question, what do you think? I mean, what is your impression of Huawei with everything that's going on lately? In my case, obviously, I know that there is so much that has to happen. This is something legal. Companies have rights. So it's not like if this is just going to be the full collapse of Huawei. There will be alternatives and there will be legal action. So it's not something as simple as everything that's happening. So I don't know. I'm skeptical as to if things are going to actually cripple Huawei fully or not, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. Guys, we would really love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Please also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens there. And obviously, you've got my personal handles if you want to deal with ugly running photos. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.